<laughs> I'm Cliff Neal. This is my wife Jessica. This is my son Holden and we're expecting a daughter named Cadence in January and I'm proud to be your 2015 Young Farmer of the Year. Uh, I'm a third generation farmer here on the Neal farm. 2003 was my first crop. Uh, I grew cotton. My operation's been growing ever since from 2003 up until now. Uh, been growing, start off with just cotton, been growing cotton, milo, black eyed peas, and wheat. Cliff's methods of soil conservation as he strives to protect his land are all admirable. I've been doing soil conservation with no-till, with wheat or milo, growing the cotton in some type of cover to prevent the sand from blowing and protect the plant and uh, keep water from running off. Cliff knows that water isn't always abundant and has adjusted accordingly for the dry years. Since 2003 when I started, the water never has been all that great. Uh, we've always had light water where we're at and I, mine is no different. The techniques Cliff has developed have allowed his crops to be sustained with little amounts of water. I farm half, about half dry land, half irrigated acres. Some of my pivots I have, uh, I have bubblers where I have a little more water I'm able to bubble the water down between the rows of cotton uh, instead of spraying it out up into the air. And then the lighter water place, I have eye wads that put out a bigger drop to keep them from getting, when the, when the wind is blowing, it keeps it, get, it lets it get to the ground and, and doesn't evaporate as easy. Cliff's wife, Jessica, says farming and water are some things that are always on the back of Cliff's mind. He likes to get out early and get all of his water checked before anybody gets to the barn so he can be here at the barn and get started working right away when everybody's here. When we decide to actually go on a vacation or go to a family reunion, he's always got to be calling and checking on his water and making sure everything's going smoothly while he's away. Growing up in a farming family allowed Cliff to learn about and develop these techniques. Uh, I've grown up on the farm my whole life. I mean, my dad farmed and my grandfather farmed and I have two older, older brothers that farmed and so I've had plenty of people to learn from. Uh, I wouldn't know anything different than being out here. This is where I grew up and, and the only thing I know and couldn't think of anything else to be doing. Uh, I feel like God and my father that passed away in 2009 that they led me on this path of farming. And he hopes to be able to pass all that he has learned from his family and experiences to his children. Uh, I have a younger son and a daughter on the way and we, uh, we're just going to raise them on this farm and hope that we, we are still farming when they get old enough to maybe want to do it on their own. And Every day at some point, he takes Holden either out in the barn to play or he puts him on a tractor, rides a tractor with him, lets him go check water. Holden, he likes to have his own seat and get going with the boys. Though farming can be tough and unpredictable, Jessica says it's worth it to see how happy Cliff is. But he loves it so much and like he said, I couldn't see him doing anything else. I don't know what else I would be doing besides this. It's just the only thing that's in my blood and in my brain.